I remember some people used to claim that Star Wars ought to have one in 77 as it exerted far more influence and love over the culture of the entire world since its release. Although, not to the same extent, Annie Hall's was also entirely enormous. The fourth wall breaking postmodern, hip and self-aware nature of independent 1990s cinema feels culturally permitted by the reverence and popularity associated with Alan's Annie Hall. Alan is a rightfully contentious figure now, both as a human and as an artist. Most of his work is repetitive and not truly worth viewing after a certain point in the early 1990s. It is a major shame, for his earlier work during the 1970s and 1980s is completely commendable, and potentially somehow underrated at this particular point in time, for rather understandable reasons. Let's delay opinions on Alan as a person for now, if for no other reason because this is 1977, before the more unacceptable behaviour from Alan had taken place. Annie Hall was the consolidation of his finest period as a filmmaker, a streak which continued up until 1989's Crimes and Misdemeanors. The previous year, 1975's Love and Death, was the commencement of this era, I would argue, although Annie Hall truly enabled his subsequent confidence, especially its laudatory reception, it seems. Completely thoroughly entertaining, superlative exercise in dialogue, superbly relatable, and brutally personal, Woody Allen's Alvy Singer is his most iconic because it is the most transparently insecure, unaffected by the ubiquity of adoration which would follow Annie Hall's release and acclaim, most autobiographical up to that point in his oeuvre, and possibly overall, though Manhattan beckons also, and a powerful window into 1970s bourgeois socialite culture where New York is concerned anyway. A certain type of cinema fan is opposed to or uninterested in what they consider the smug comedy stylings of Woody Allen, why I couldn't insist more upon the filmic, philosophic, and screenwriting genius of Alan's best era, people who like film for its own sake will find a lot to appreciate in this streak of inventive, ambitious, sincere cinema. Although admittedly, I think I still like Star Wars more. That's just that's just the kind of person that I am. I adore the original Star Wars, especially the first two releases theatrically. Star Wars and Empire. Although Annie Hall is a terrific film as well, I, I certainly think.